Hi guys, I thought we'd look at King of the Bongo today by Manu Xiao. Uh, this is a really cool little song that I was obsessed with when I was at school uh, growing up and it's a good one for learning some reggae beats. Uh, as you've noticed, I haven't done a video for a while. Uh, I've had lots and lots of stuff going on. Uh, I'm getting really busy now, so I'm struggling to do the request through YouTube. So you can go to my Patreon page, which is in the description below, uh, if you want to support the channel and also if you just want any requests for songs and things like that. If you do it through there, I'll get back to you and sort it out. Uh, for this song, it's mainly all in the left hand. The right hand's super simple, but we'll go into that and break it down. Uh, I'll just do a little run through of the verse so you can hear what it sounds like, and uh, let's crack on with the close up. Mama was queen of the mambo, papa was king of the congo Deep down in the jungle I started banging my first bongo Every monkey liked to be in my place instead of me I'm the king of bongo baby, I'm the king of bongo bong Okay, so as you can see, we just have three chords uh, If you do bar chords, it makes it much much simpler uh, for doing the rhythm uh, we have an A minor chord at the 5th fret. Uh, we have a D minor chord, which is the A minor shape bar chord at the 5th fret. A minor being the E minor shape bar chord at the 5th fret. And then we have a G bar chord, which is an E shaped bar chord at the 3rd fret. So we have two bars of A minor. One bar of D minor. One bar of G. And that's the whole song. Uh, so the actual chord bit and what the right hand does is pretty simple. Uh, it's just what we have to do with the left hand, which we will talk about. In the right hand, all you're doing is going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and all the way through. Okay, so when you're practicing this, I would just stay on the A minor and just get the right hand going that one and two and three and four and whilst muting the strings. So we're just really lightly touching the strings so that no sound comes out. Okay, and then to practice, we're just going to play one and two, and on two we're going to squeeze with the left hand so we get sound. One and two. Okay, one and two, and then let's go and three and four, and so we're going to play two and four. One and two and three and four and and then again you're letting go of that pressure so that it meets. You don't want to let go because that sounds horrible. So just play it, then let go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Once you feel comfortable doing that, add in the chord changes. So two bars of A minor. That might take a little bit of practice. Uh, it becomes very easy, but when you first start, it's not really very simple to keep that. You really want to play the first beat of the bar because that's kind of what we're used to. Uh, and then once you've got that, there's just one more thing to add in, which is something called a squeeze. So we actually play two and as well. So we play one and two and. Sounds weird on its own. But you don't do it on the four. You can do it on the four, but Manu Shao doesn't. And so what we're doing is we're also playing that upbeat, but we want to do the squeeze thing still in the left hand. So we get one and two and the note stops. If we get... It doesn't have quite that same punch as... So that's the main thing to practice. One and two. Let the pressure go, and then when you get to the up, put it back down and then let it go again. And that just takes some practice just to get the timing right. So just play it really slowly. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Four and. 
And that's once you start getting used to the squeeze and adding the core changes and then build up the speed. Uh, this is used all the time. It's uh, Bob Marley and Stir It Up, Steer It Up, however you want to pronounce it, is the same. <laughs> So it's a really good technique to learn um, and then you'll be able to play lots and lots of reggae tunes uh, with this style. The only other thing to mention is when you start singing in bongo bong, you, you sing on the one even though you're not playing, you're only playing a mute on the guitar so it would be like mama was green of the mambo. That's one of the bits when I started performing it that I struggled with was the not singing when you strum. Well you are strumming but not singing when you're playing the chord rather. So you'd come in Mama was queen of the mambo, Papa was king of the Congo. Deep down in the jungle I start banging my first bongo. So you're not singing as you're voicing the chord that comes on the second beat. Okay, I uh, hope that was helpful and have fun playing this great tune. Okay guys, hope that was helpful. Uh, as always, if you could check out and do the liking and the commenting and stuff like that, that's great. Uh, check out my band, Glass Balloon, which is in the description below as is my album and all those fun plugging type things and I'll see you next time.